What's going on everybody? It's Branson over at Tailwater Outfitters and today I have Andrew with me Yay! and we are going to show you how to throw a cast net. All right, so the net that we are throwing today is the Black Pearl. Now this is a 10 foot and the mesh is the 3 8 and the weight is a 1.3 pound. So the reason why we're throwing this is because this is the net that we recommend for pretty much everybody that comes into the shop. First question we get when it comes to cast nets is what size should I throw? And most people hear that, hey, I should start with an eight foot net. Well, we typically recommend to go straight to the 10 foot net. The reason why is because if you can throw an eight foot net, you're gonna be able to open that 10 foot net as well. And you're gonna get on the water, you're gonna start using that eight foot net, and you're gonna realize, hey, I want something a little bit bigger, something that can open up a little bit larger and catch more bait, so that's why we like to go with this. Now, the mesh size is 3 8 and that's going to be perfect for fishing inshore and around Pinellas County area. It's gonna be perfect for all the bait that you're gonna find out here. And then the weight on it, the 1.3, is gonna be perfect for that inshore fishing as well. It's not gonna to be too heavy. The 1.65 is what we would recommend for offshore, deeper water. All right, Andrew, so you are going to be throwing the net today because I suck at throwing a cast net. So um, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I push a loop through and then I'm gonna coil up all my, all my line. Nothing too big, nothing too small, somewhere right in the middle. I feel when you get too big of loops here, um, you do risk maybe catching the bottom of it with the leads uh, and then it could, it could throw out your whole, your whole cast and then you spooked all that bait. So uh, then I grab the top of the horn, um, really like this split design with the mono, keeps the mono from tangling up, which is a nightmare. Um, I always make sure there's no twists. So when I come forward, I like that net to be nice and straight. A twist looks something like this. So anytime you get something like this, you wanna make sure that net is straight down. I'll grab my horn, I don't know, six inches to a foot, don't get too technical with it. And then I'll usually go down somewhere right around my waist. So when I grab it and that's on the ground, I wanna be right about my waist height. So I'll take that, I'm gonna put that in my left hand. A 10 foot's perfect, because you don't have to do a double coil with that. If you get into a 12 or a 14, you usually have to double that up. It just complicates things a little bit. So then from here, I'm in my left hand, I throw the hand, or I throw right-handed. Um, so I'm gonna go over my right shoulder. So I'll take it, I'll take a third. Again, don't get too technical with it. Gather that all up in my right hand. When I say a third, I'm meaning of this black lead line. So uh, the black pearl, um, does wrap the lead lines, which is super nice. So I'll take that, um, and that's important in the next step here. So that's give or take a third. I'll wrap it around and kind of punch my, my left hand through. So now I've got the net split up. So I've got about two thirds over here, that third's on my right. So basically from there, I will go down to the lowest point of this first wrap on the net. So the lowest point there, that's what's gonna go in my mouth. So. Again, there's plenty of ways to throw a cast net. This is just the way that I was taught to do it and it's worked for me very well. There's some methods out there that don't use a mouth. I prefer this. So just right in the teeth, tip of the teeth. You don't have to put the whole thing in your mouth. Obviously it's gonna be covered in salt water and fish. Tip of the teeth, I can still talk with it. And then I'm gonna take this pinky and go down to the lowest part here. So I get that, that pinky there. And this is important. I roll that first third of the net into my right hand. I've already got the net open. So all I have to do is, is some decent technique. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. I really like this technique because you can make a poor throw and still open a good, a, a very good portion of the net. Um, so obviously when you throw 10 or 15 times, you're gonna get tired regardless of how lightweight or heavy the net is. So I really like this method. So right back in the teeth. Again, that net's already most of the way open. And then the key here is to load the net as much as you possibly can. Use your body weight. So I'm gonna kind of rock back, let the net wrap around me. I'm gonna kind of throw up, and then my whole, my right hand comes off the net first. But here's the kicker. The right pinky comes off the net last. So when I throw up, I'm gonna throw with my right hand, but I'm gonna hold on with that right pinky. Let me show you what it looks like real quick. So pretty good toss, not perfect, but again, that's why I like this method. You can make a mistake. Uh, that left side of the net didn't open. I'm, I'm still 85% of the way open. Um, I didn't throw out all my line, but I like this method too. 
because instead of opening right at the front of the boat where you get no distance on it, say that bait's a little bit further off the boat, it's a little spooky that day, I can throw this method, that's 10 feet away from me. So 10 feet being at the front of this lead line that's closest to me, which means the back of that lead line is almost 20 feet plus away from me. I can really reach out there and get a lot of bait. So again, that's just the method I use. Um, there's a lot of other methods out there. This is the one that works for me and this is the one I'm gonna keep throwing. All right, so thanks for watching. Of course, hopefully that helped you. Tell us also if you liked Andrew, like, subscribe, share, tell your friends, and we'll see you next time.